And I think that um, the woman in black is a, an incredibly powerful and strong and good ghost to have at the centre of the film. And that kind of key mythology, um, when the woman in black is seen, a child dies, is very, very scary. Um, so I think going on to the next film, I don't think that mythology becomes any less scary. And I think and I hope that we take the, the woman in black story to the next level and see how she instills terror in a whole new group of victims. They explained to me that they wanted to make it a sort of follow-on film rather than a direct continu continuation and, they, and that Susan Hill had, had an idea to set it 40, 50 years in the future during the Second World War with an entirely different group of characters other than the woman in black um, who, and the house who remained consistent. But other than that, everything was, 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 was new. Um, and I thought that was a really good idea and I really liked the idea of setting it in the Second World War. Um, just because of the kind of the backdrop of loss and um, and that's sort of essentially what the essence of the woman in black is about the, the, the fear of loss the fear of losing a, a child um, and I thought that kind of that 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 kind of worked quite nicely together I was familiar with Hammer's back catalogue of work and I knew them as a brand um, I really like horror films. I wouldn't say that I was, you know, um, only interested in the horror films, but certainly some of my favourite films are horror films. And I, but I, I sort of think, um, come at all films of all genres in the same, the same really, which is, uh, you know, I like films from all, all, all genres. And what it interests me about any film of any genre, first and foremost, is is the kind of the story and the characters and whether it engages me. Um, and so that was the same approach in this, actually. It, it was just um, it was a group of, of, of characters and a story that I found interesting. Uh, and then it also had the additional um, benefit of being a horror film. She was so good and so charismatic and had such depth to her performance. She is a really lovely actress both as a person and in her ability and she I don't know she has a fragility to her which I think is really important in horror heroines that she you know she she's she she has the ability to kind of hold your attention to lead you through to be active rather than passive but at the same time has a vulnerability to her and I think that's a, a rare and wonderful quality I met Jeremy several months before we started filming and from the moment I met him I knew he was the right man for the job because he has a particular interest in um, war memorabilia and particularly in, um, in pilots in the Second World War um, and he was immediately able to tell me all sorts of fascinating things about pilots that he was particularly interested in and why he was particularly interested in this role. So it was a very happy, um, a ha very happy fit. Obviously, he's a fantastic actor and um, was magnificent for the part. We all were hoping he was doing it anyway, so we were <laughs> so pleased when, when, when it seemed that he had that kind of prior interest. I think Helen adds a real kind of emotional strength to the film um, and also makes a part that could potentially be, you know, fairly two-dimensional. You know, the, the, the like the matriarch, the headmistress character. She gives it a real kind of arc and three-dimensional quality, um, which is so necessary in order for it to feel real rather than just um, um, surface. One of the great things about working with Simon Oakes and with Hammer is they have a very clear idea of the type of films they want to make and, the, and what The Woman in Black is. <coughs> but once we, once we kind of established that world, they were very generous in kind of giving me the freedom to then go away and be creative about making the film. So they have a really nice balance, I suppose, between knowing what their brand is about but giving creatives the, the freedom to explore and to create. On one level, I hope that audiences just enjoy being frightened. I really enjoy being frightened. I, you know, 
right from those early stories around a campfire or a sleepover or something where you tell each other ghost stories to, to be scared. It's sort of the same thing, on a, but maybe for me on a bit more, you know, grown-up level. Actually, maybe not on that much more of a grown-up level. It, I, I think it's fun to be scared in the kind of the, the safety of, of a cinema um, and to enjoy the bumps and the jumps and be able to know that actually you can go home at the end of it and get into bed and hopefully not be too freaked out and know that the woman back doesn't really exist. Um, but so on a kind of a, on, on one level, I just hope it's entertaining and scary. Uh, but on another level, I think horror films do something very interesting in the way they tap into the fears and our base fears.